I would like to show you how you can define helper constructor. Okay, you can basically call one constructor within another constructor if you need it. Okay, let's do that very quickly. Let's go back to member over here. Okay, let's go back to member. Okay, let's say I want to create another version of a uh, constructor, which will take, let's say, uh, is, which is going to init initialize not only just ID, uh, also type and also balance, but also we want to initialize the name, for example. Okay, what I can do is let me show you exactly why it would be very bad if you simply just copy and paste the code, uh, which will create duplicates. So in this case, calling other uh, constructor as helper constructor would be the way to go. Okay, so let me show you how I can create the third version. Copy this and then paste. Okay, and it's, uh, to begin with, it's going, uh, it's going to be a compi uh, compilation error because you can see it's ambiguous for the Java compiler to tell. You got this version over here, which will take integer character double. You got another version which will also take integer character and double, right? So they will be considered as the same version. So it's uh it's not allowed. You gotta have uh distinct versions uh for the constructor or even for methods. All right, so what I can do is I can simply say string name over here. Okay, and then what I can say is I really want to also initialize the name. Uh, for the uh, for the member, so I can say this dot name is assigned to name over here. Okay, so this will uh, will work well. You can definitely try to uh, uh, write some code to really uh, create a member using this particular uh, version over here. Maybe by assigning uh, passing some name over here. You can definitely try that. I'm not gonna bother you with that. Okay. However, this uh, practice over here is pretty bad because you're basically duplicating the code in here. And also here, if you can reuse it, it would be great. How do we do it? Basically, this part of the constructor can just be done by calling or reusing this uh, block of code that's defined that's in this version over here for the constructor, right? What we can do is whatever, uh, but calling the constructor will be quite different from calling the helper method. So that's why I want to show to you. Remember the this keyword over here, right? So this, uh, if you use the this keyword over here in this context, that means you want to call another version of the constructor and uh, simply write the this over here. And then what you want to do is I want to pass just the ID and type and also balance, right? Let me write it down. ID and also type and also balance over here. So this will compile. What this will do, is, what the Java compiler will interpret this is as follows. Since you say this followed by opening and closing, uh, sorry. Since you say this followed by opening and closing parentheses, it uh, it suggests uh, that you're trying to call another version of the constructor in the current class for member. And then since you pass ID, which is referring to the integer ID over here, you refer to type, which is referring to character here. Uh, also, you uh, you pass balance, which is referring to the, uh, referring to the double balance over here. Is there any other version that's going to give you? Uh, integer, uh, character, and also double. Well, exactly this version over here. So the compiler would know when you say this is you're calling uh, another version, exactly this version over here, more precisely, okay? So this is calling another constructor member, right? Of integer, character, and also double, exactly this type. And we know that this is the only option we, ha we can have, right? Let me trace this very quickly to get it with you to make sure this is really working, right? All right, let me just uh, simply go to member app two over here. Let me extend it a little bit, okay? Let me just put it here. Let's say member, how about, oh, let's say uh, GHA over here would be new member over here. And let's say we want to give a name, right? Let's say uh, GHA over here. And then uh, give a membership number one, two, three, uh, five, eight, nine. And then let's say a golden member and also 300.0, for example. All right, so this compiles. So that means uh, as far as this part is concerned, we are really calling the member uh, this uh, third version of the cu uh, customized constructor, right? You can trace it by using exactly what I just did uh, uh, together with you. All right, let's now try to trace this uh, using a debugger very quickly. So if I put a breakpoint, uh, let's see this. For uh, let's say uh, over here, let's put a breakpoint in line number sixteen, right? You, you can see there's a breakpoint here, and then I'm gonna launch the debugger over here. Click on the bug button here, 
and then switch to debug perspective. Okay, you can see now we are in line number nine. Okay, I want to go all the way. I can say step over, step over, step over, step over, step over, and to here. So now I, I'm in uh, line number 16, right before I create uh, this particular object over here. Now I can step into. If I say step into over here, you can see now I got this uh, third version that's being called, right? But now you can, you can see this is just another call to the helper uh, constructor. What if I say uh, step into? If I say step into, it's actually go into this particular version of the constructor, which will be this guy over here, right? If I say step into, you can see I'm now switching to exactly this version over here. And then I can initialize, for example, ID, type, and balance. So after all these, you can say that this, uh, the context object I'm creating, actually got balance, we got ID, and also we got type. Be, uh, both, uh, all of them have been set up, except for the name, which we'll do. And then if we say step over, you can see now, after executing this helper constructor, which is this block of code over here, so now we're going to execute one more line. Uh, this dot name is assigned to name. Step over, you can see the name has been assigned to GHA. All right, so that's uh, one thing I would like to show to you about using a helper constructor, which would be quite handy. Okay, stop and then go back to uh, Java perspective. And then I want to do just one more thing over here. Let's go back to uh, test member over here. And then let me just create one uh, test case. Since now we got a new version of the member, why don't we create uh, two um, objects using that version very quickly. So let me say number three over here. And then for member one, member two, you know what? I will simply just use uh, what we got uh, from member app two over here. So let me just use, uh, let's say Suyang, Yuna, and Jihei, right? I'm gonna just copy that. I'm gonna delete uh, all the system and all the print line in just a moment. Go to test member, maximize it. Okay, I want to leave uh, only Suyang, Yuna, and also Jihei. You can see these are the three uh, objects we can create exactly corresponding to uh, the uh, member app two. Uh, so now we're using the JUnit test to automate the testing, okay? So after this, we can say assert, uh, let's say assert false, right? We want to make sure all of these are simply uh, different objects, assert false. So you can see uh, Suyang and Yuna are simply just different objects, right? So that should be false. And also Suyang and also Jihei are also different objects over here, right? You can see Suyang is not the same as Yuna. And you, uh, also Suyang is not the same as Jihei. We can do another one. Uh, member here. I just sorry. I just spelled it wrong. Okay, and one more. One more. I can say uh, assert false. I can say G H equals equals Yuna. That also should be false, right? You can just make sure all the three objects they are simply not uh the the address they store are simply not the same as each other. Okay. All right, so now if I try to execute the JUnit test, you can see all the three tests uh, still pass, all right? All right, so I think this video, we covered quite a bit about uh, how to trace on the paper it thoroughly, and also we use a debugger to show the correspondence, and also we show you helper constructor, and also we extend our JUnit test, right? Just make sure you review all the bits and pieces before you move on about de uh, declaring methods in the next video.